know that no matter how much you travel, it never actually gets any easier. I still feel like I'm missing something and I don't know what that thing is. But as long as you have your phone, which is nowhere to be seen, your purse, your wallet, and your passport, you're gonna get places. Nothing else really matters but those three things. So I'm all ready to go. I don't know if I've mentioned, I'm off to South Korea. I am flying there all the way from London. So I have a layover for a few hours in Beijing. It's a night flight from London to Beijing and then like two hours on to Seoul. So this is exciting. I'm gonna be there for two weeks and I just thought it would be fun to make a vlog just bringing you along on this long haul flight because I think that's fun. Those are fun vlogs to watch for me. So let's go. Okay, here she is, Heathrow Terminal 4. I've been told I've gotta to go to zone F for my check-in. I haven't even checked in online yet. I'm flying with China Southern, who I have never flown with before. It looks like there's going to be like 20 minute queue for the check-in. This is the bag that I am checking in. It's just like a 50 litre rip curl backpack. And then this one will come on as my hand luggage. I'm pretty sure it's only like 12 kgs. I really didn't bring too much. I wanted to travel light for this trip. However, I do want to bring home a lot. So I anticipate on the way back, I'm probably going to buy a whole nother suitcase in Korea and then check it in as like an extra check-in bag for back home so I can fill it up with all the skincare products and everything else that I want to buy in Korea um, because the check-in allowance for China Southern is actually really large I think I can bring like 30 kgs maybe even 40 kgs of luggage and like two pieces but yeah I'm not checking very much to go there because I know we're going to be getting around on like public transport and things and I don't really want to be lugging around a massive suitcase like there's so much more I could have brought for this trip but I was like I'm just gonna keep it fairly minimal bring the absolute essentials oh. now I feel really really bougie today because this is not normal for me but we actually have lounge access so we're going into the Plaza Premium Lounge this really is fancy for me I never go in lounges at airports they have these fun little booths in the lounges and so I'm just gonna get a small amount of work done before the flight because I don't anticipate that there's gonna be any Wi-Fi when we get on board but since I'm here let me tell you about the wonderful sponsors of today's video Surfshark if you don't know already now's a very good time to find out when you are connected to a public Wi-Fi network like in the airport for example your device is actually at risk of being hacked via that connection which is really scary and what we don't want at all so how to prevent that is to have a VPN. Surfshark are a VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And with Surfshark, what I can do when I'm at the airport in a lounge or when I'm in a cafe and I'm connected to a public Wi-Fi network, I need to switch my Surfshark on. I literally just select a country, press connect, and with that click of a button, it acts as a virtual shield on that connection to that public Wi-Fi network so that no evil hackers can get in. Free drinks in the airport lounge. Anyway, as well as Surfshark protecting all of your devices from potential evil hackers, it also allows you to change the virtual location of your device to pretty much anywhere in the world. And what that means for you is that you can access media from pretty much anywhere in the world. I know I'm not the only one occasionally who gets those error messages saying, sorry, this media or service is not available in your country. And it's like, God damn it. But with Surfshark, you open it up, you select a country where that service or media is available. And with the click of a connection button, that surface is then available to you. You just do a little refresh. There's so many more benefits you can get from a VPN. And Surfshark are one of the only VPNs which give you access on an unlimited number of your devices with just the one account. And I have an amazing discount code for you guys. You can get a whole three months free of Surfshark when you use my code backpacking, or you can click the link in the description. Now my friends who I am traveling to South Korea with, they are actually some other creators, which some of you may recognize. They are also here in the lounge. So I'm just gonna finish off this little bit of work that I intended on doing, and then I will go join them and not be so antisocial. Because they are, right now I'm in a booth. And they are over there. It's so fun, I love all of these booths in the lounges. I should get lounge access more often. I tell you what I need, is one of those like special Amex cards, which gets me lounge access all over the world. 
that's what I need. You just have to pay like an annual fee. I know nothing about credit cards, but this is something that I should really catch on to because lounges are great. I didn't actually mention that this is my third GMT. It will help me sleep. I'm with my friends. Really hello, friends. hello. Yes, you are. You are now. We've never met this woman before. I've just managed to get rid of my hiccups uh, after three GMTs and a wine, but I'm ready for bed. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> I think I'm right here. Okay. 20 minutes later. So right now it's recording. It's magic. Guys, I've made a friend. This is Bertie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> and we've got drinks. We've got the most tiny wines. We've got. Oh, you know yes. <laughs> I never make friends on flights, so this is Why? this no, no. So, we, but we've just kind of we, we sat next to each other. We were actually sat in, in these seats, but Bertie managed to get a whole row to himself, <laughs> and now I've joined him on his spare row. So Bertie speaks five languages. What well, well, English is one of them. He's from Devon. He does a bit of translator work, a little bit of creative stuff on the side, yes. a bit of actor work. Have fun. All sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. And we're just having an absolute chin wag over a wine now. On the way to China, which is one of the languages languages that he speaks. You should go to China. I should go to China. I am going to China for four hours. It's such a fun country. Yeah. This is a little wireless mic, so right now. Is this, so when you right, did it before it wasn't right now, connected? Really, no. Do you but like no. Stuff? Yeah, you could do ASMR stuff. Okay. Yeah. Hello. We're drinking. I would like more wine. This is playing ASMR with uh, Bertie and Christy. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> you just sort of want to scream into it and then scare people, you know? No, no, don't do that. Oh, no, no, no. What's the wine? It's from New Zealand. Oh, okay. It's really good. Yeah, it is nice. It's, it's very nice. sweet. It's very sweet. I think it, I think it suits Chinese tastes. It's, it's not too bitter and... I, I don't know, it's, it's really easy to drink. Mm. I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> this is what you should do on long haul flights. You should make friends yeah. with your neighbours. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually spilled wine all over me. No, it's, Could it's you white, see? so you can't. If it was red wine, it would be... It, it would be a disaster, but look how much I spilled. I want to change my t-shirt. You want to change your t-shirt right now? <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know when you know what you need to wear. And I'm like, oh. this isn't it. Is something more fun? Is, no, it, is it in your hand luggage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to change it to it? Uh, okay. Okay. Outfit change from it's Bertie. Not fun, it's just... Okay. He wants to change. Okay. Yeah. You're more the vibe. More the, more the vibe. More the vibe. Bertie's got to change into his other T-shirt, which he felt was more appropriate for the occasion, which I think is amazing. And I think it's amazing that I've made friends on this flight. That doesn't often happen. When do you ever like speak to your neighbours on a flight? Never. But here I am. We've made friends, and we're having wine together, and it's absolutely fantastic i wish i made friends on every flight now on the menu we had the choice of chicken rice or mushroom rice this is what the chicken rice looks like i think it looks more like mushroom rice and this is what the mushroom rice looks like which looks more like chicken rice controversially also no plastic no plastic which is interesting yeah no, that's, a new, that's a new thing i mean oh is it it wasn't always like that and um, no oh. <laughs> and then what's this it is handmade in London. Ah. Chocolate orange ganache. Wow. Looks good. What's happening? I'm gonna call I'm gonna call the crew. But it's embarrassing. What? Why are you calling the crew? Seventh glass of wine. But now I have to we, pretend not to be drunk. We we want more wine. Do you want another one as well? Of course. Okay. We we made the executive decision. We thought that there was five and a half hours left of the flight, and he, and and he goes to me, "Do we sleep or do we have more wine?" Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, I think they know us now. Probably they do when know they see us our now. seat number, they're like, "Oh no, uh, no, not those two drunkards." <laughs> But the good news is I've, I've learned how to say thank you in Mandarin. Go on then. Yes, yeah. 
Hein Hao. Hein Hao. Very good. Very thank good. you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes. what is the plan? We're going to have a glass of wine and yes. then we're going to. We're going to go sleep. Schlafen. Schlafen. Should we <laughs> No. <laughs> nein. You speak German. Can you speak Deutsch? Um, nein. Nein, 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 nein. nein, nein. Fraulein, nein. Bitte. <laughs> Where are we? Do you want to show them where we are? Yeah, let's show, let's show you where we are. We are flying Narodnaya. over Russia, just over Moscow, close to the Mount Narodnaya mountain. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's it. Fact of the day, my cousin's, cousin's studying, studying Russian. Russian. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Hi, man. Uh, hi, hola. Hi, hola. What does Tai Haula mean? It means like that, that too good. Very good. Very good. Tai Haula. Tai Haula. Okay. We're going to Beijing. We're going to Beijing. This is all well and good, but I'm going to South Korea. I'm not going to Beijing. So I need to learn um, Korean. Kamsa, I can't help you so much on that front with Korean, but I can tell you. Thank you, it's Kamsamnida. Kamsamnida? You hello. You told me hello early. I can't remember. You told me, no? Uh, Anyo Haseyo. Anyo Haseyo? Anyo Haseyo. Anyo Haseyo. I think. I think. I think you told uh, me that. I think you told me that. No, I didn't. I mean, definitely, I knew it, but I think you said it. I definitely point. did not say that to you. Uh, Unless I'm you said it to me. I'm trying to give you a point. I'm trying to give yeah. you a point. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Okay, if you say something, 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 just say yo. Yo say yo. Please give me. Ah. It's like water, please, is mul just say yo. Full Jeseo. Yeah. Full Jeseo. You, you, you're really good at copying accents and doing Thank them correctly. You, you are. I, immediately afterwards, yes. Yeah. But that's the skill. Mul. So yeah, M U L J U S E Y O. Mul. Mul is water. Mul. Because these languages often the verb comes at the end. Yeah. Mul Jeseo. Mul Jeseo. More like beer. Mol jaseo. Mol jaseo. Do you know soju? Soju. Yeah, but this is soju. Soju jaseo. Soju jaseo. Yeah, I'm like a fucking fraud because I don't speak Korean, but no. I know a few words of Korean. Yeah. He knows more do than I more do. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like they're being particularly nice to us. I, we're just deeply charming. <laughs> I, I love China and I love Chinese people, but Chinese airlines are not known for their excellent service. Oh. This is wonderful. I just want to say something, it's unrelated. On. This is one of the first flights I've ever been on and I haven't watched anything. Oh. Have you watched anything? No, I haven't watched anything. No, I've been chatting to you the whole yeah, time. Yeah, me too. We've been talking about all me things. Too. Yeah. As if you've been chatting to me and I haven't been chatting to you. Okay, how many hours left? Five, hours, five and a half. That's hours, nothing. Seven, That's like Europe 0.5. This is just going to just past Turkey. Yeah. This is just yeah. going to Egypt. This is just going to Egypt. Have you been to Egypt? I have been to Egypt once last year. I was in Hakata because I was learning how to kite surf. It's great. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera off now. Bye bye. And years later. Okay, this, this We've arrived in Beijing. Um, I am so tired. We 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 did we did this all wrong. We did this all no, it was wrong. All right. it was all right. Well, you're stopping it was here now. Yeah, That's right. fine for you. you yes, we now have. A four hour layover in Beijing, <laughs> and I've just somehow got to survive. I got about two hours sleep on that flight. UK time, it's mm. like quarter past eight, whereas Beijing you time. Two hours sleep? Something like that. Yeah, about three, three and a half. Oh, that good. Bad, bad sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, four hours in Beijing. This is exciting, though. 
I'm tired, but I'm excited, and I'm ready to party. No, I'm really not ready to party. I'm done, I'm done my partying. I guess I'm going to transfer. Oh, darling. I am so nice to meet you. Thank you. Safe travels. Yes, please do. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I made friends. You've made a friend. Yes, I made a friend. I saw it earlier on, and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who makes friends on Who place? makes friends on I don't, yeah. I'm I don't so know. disappointed he's gay. Paul was like, he's in love with you. I was like, no, he's not. I was like, I was like, was like <laughs> he was being all charming <laughs> and charming. We had such a good time. You had such a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad back because I'm old. Oh. And so I couldn't sleep and get comfy. But. I was out like a night. I literally <laughs> fell asleep before dinner. Oh. And... <laughs> I wake up I'm, I'm, when they serve breakfast. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Did you move to a window seat with a whole aisle? So I had a window seat originally, but like just no one else came. Oh, great. So I was like, great, I can now, because I was in the exit row, oh, yeah. I could put my bag underneath the oh, seat next to me. you had an exit row as well? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're living the right. dream, Juliana. The dream, oh. the dream. You could, you could almost like cut our journeys together and go like, this is 30, this is near 40. So like, 30 year olds drinking wine, making friends. <laughs> making a video and I was like ah oh. <laughs> and I'm just like sleep yeah. blessed sleep sleep <laughs> all different things that you can do on a flight yeah to Beijing welcome to Beijing I love this there's a little like entire drinking water station I have a cup does it is it do I place it no what do I do oh oh yes no that's correct Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. It's not stopping. How do I stop it? Oh, thank you. Well, the new word I now know. Cheers, yeah. Ah. Why have you got to film your socks? So, yes, I do have my compression socks on. And yes, I have put my anklets on the outside of my compression socks. Oh, wow. I did, yeah, I did that. Because I thought maybe it would make people think that I wasn't wearing compression socks because they're kind of the same. No, it's on film now forever. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the same colour as my legs. But it's a long flight and I didn't want to get swollen ankles. There you go. That's, that's what happens go. now. <laughs> Glamorous traveling. Yeah, it's so glam. <laughs> Very empty airport. So this is Beijing Daxing Airport. Apparently only opened two or three years ago, so it's pretty new. And it's the middle of the day. It's like 4 p.m. Beijing time, and it's just completely empty for some reason. We're not too sure why. Um, it took a long time going through the transfer process, like the security, immigration. I mean, it was all like straightforward. It, it just took a long time. I always think with airports, wherever we are in the world, I'm like, is there not a more efficient way of doing this? Like, surely there's a more efficient way of doing things. Yes, yeah. Hello. Yes, yeah. I think I'm saying that correctly now. Yes, yeah. Yes, 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 Maybe. Hello. Customs? Ah, thank you. I don't have a pen. Do you have a pen? I have a pen. Okay, I'm going to need to borrow your pen. I should have a pen. This is the kind of thing that I always tell people on my channel. You must travel with a pen. I don't have one. So Carl's ready for a beer. I am not. I <laughs> I have to go to sleep. <laughs> but I'm very, very happy to be here. We made it. Well that was all fairly efficient. I've got my bag already. It took 15 minutes to get through the immigration line into South Korea. And then once you get to the front, it's very easy for British citizens. We don't need a visa to be here. Um, at least not for the time that I'm here, which is two weeks. So yeah, it was all very easy. I'm feeling a little bit better now, a little bit more alive, which is good because I wasn't for the past 12 hours. Um, but I've got my bag, I've made it. I'm now gonna wait for the others and then we will head to the hotel. Ooh, 
do I get a SIM card here or do I get an eSIM? Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to get an eSIM, but let's have a look at how much this is. Unlimited data, 10 days, 38,500 won. One?